What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome to another episode of Play to Win. As you can see in the bottom there, the record currently stands at 52 wins and 0 losses. And uh, if you've never seen this series before guys, the, the sole purpose of this series is to win as many games in a row as possible. And once I pick up a loss, I'll change the team and do something a little different. Now, I have lost. <laughs> I'm sorry to break it to you this way, like it would have been a lot more interesting you just like seeing it but I need to go tell you guys that I have lost for a few reasons which I'm about to explain um, I, I'm not gonna tell you what game I've lost in and there are a, a fair few more episodes to come yet guys um, but the reason why I have to tell you I've lost oh by the way I, I decided to add some stupid little graphic in as well sweaty yeah, goal you love that sweaty goal for the win um, I'm just going to put that on every sweaty goal now, just because I know it's a sweaty goal, okay? Um, but yeah, so, the reason why I had to tell you guys I lost is because I've built a second team, uh, but I want, to I want to know something, I want to ask something, I guess. I built a second team, and it's insane, guys. I've been playing with it on my main account, just for fun, just to experience it and see if it's going to be overpowered enough and good enough to actually use for a play-to-win series, and it is. So what I want to ask, guys, is, would you like to see a play to win where I play online games only or where I play tournament games only? Now bear in mind that if I do it with tournament games only, it's very, very likely that I probably won't get anywhere near as high a record as what I've got now. But of course, tournaments are there to be more challenging and that's exactly what it will be. Now I'm not saying I can't win any tournaments or whatever, but uh, I, I don't think I'd be able to win more than I don't know, maybe three or four in a row before taking a loss because, you know, in the tournaments you do come up against some seriously good players and some seriously good teams. Uh, so let me know what you think on that. The other thing I wanted to talk about, guys, was um, the video earlier today. Well, I had two videos earlier today, actually. I put one video up with um, Jack54HD. I'll leave the link to that in the description and maybe as an annotation on the screen if I remember. And basically just... Uh, been playing I talked to Jack a lot like through Skype through Twitter and so on and so forth and I played him at like five o'clock in the morning and I called it Nepo plays which is what I also called the video when I played Bruce Granite the uh, ex FIFA world champion I called that Nepo plays as well and uh, I was sitting there in Skype with Cal Freezy talking to him about like who the sort of people that I could play like you know what kind of guys could I play what kind of um, YouTubers or non-YouTubers would I like to play for a potential Nepo Plays series and in the comment section of the Nepo Plays Jack Attack wait not Jack Attack, apologies Jack Attack who's a legend by the way in the comment section of the Jack 54 HD video people were saying Nepo Plays should become a series so it would be an interesting series however it would be a lot less interesting if I just played FIFA Community Directors because like I will play FIFA Community Directors and I will play as many as possible but it would be a hell of a lot more interesting if I played people that you just liked in life or you know in the YouTube community that aren't necessarily FIFA related um, so I want to know what, what sort of people you would like me to play and if you know they, they have to be kind of reasonable because somebody with like a million subscribers almost definitely isn't going to play against me and I'm not doing this to expose my channel either. The way this is going to work, guys, it, I will play whoever will happily play me. But I will not expect them to come on the video. I will not expect them to like, favor, or even talk about the video. It'll literally just be me against them, and I'll do the rest of the work. So, like, in the example, when I played Jack 54 HD, you didn't hit, like, he, we wasn't on um, microphone together. We wasn't, you know, he, he did like the video, which is awesome, but... In general, I didn't really ask, want, or expect all that much from uh, from from Jack, basically. So, but I do I do think the series could be quite interesting. Um, apolo uh, apologies, I apologise a hell of a lot. Apologies for uploading it at like 5 a.m. But I just thought it'd be funny, and I was absolutely shocked, guys, about the response that it got. You guys. Are just amazing like I've, I hit 65,000 subs today as well which is awesome so thank you all very much for that but usually in the videos that I think I put a lot of effort into or that I do put a lot of effort into and that I think are very interesting and that I make very watchable are the videos that struggle for likes which it, it, it just 
strikes me as a little bit odd. But the videos where I don't necessarily put all that much effort in, and I don't really... Um, oh, some lovely techers from Ronaldo there. I don't really... Uh, not that I don't put effort into it, but I don't really... It doesn't really take me a lot of anything. Um, it just has crazy good response. Like, when I woke up this morning, like I uploaded that video at like 5 o'clock in the morning, and I woke up at like 1 o'clock this afternoon, and I said to myself as I was like getting ready and stuff, I was like, oh shit, like I uploaded that video, you know, it would be awesome if that even has three or four hundred likes. And I log on and it's got like 1100 likes and it's just like, wow, like the support for something like that is crazy good, which shows that even at that time in the morning, it's clearly something that interests you. So I do want to continue that series. And for those that ask as well, in in my comment section I get quite a lot like why does it sound like I'm out of breath when I make videos sometimes um, I have a slight breathing issue and I don't know what it is and uh, I've, I've spoke about it before but when I had a lot lot less subscribers than I've got now so I'll re remind people that may have forgotten let people know that wouldn't have a clue about what goes on basically guys I I have trouble breathing I have trouble like taking deep breaths at times to the point where I feel like I'm out of breath. I feel like I can't breathe, you know. Even though I can breathe 100% normally, like if I just sit here and breathe, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, that's fine. But the whole time I feel like I need to take a deep breath and it just doesn't let me. And if I yawn, I can't yawn. Like the yawn just doesn't happen. Like my mouth opens and the yawn's ready to be there. But it doesn't happen. And I'm going to have to yawn now as well because I've just said the word yawn and you're probably all sitting there yawning your little heads off. Um, but yeah, so basically guys, I have certain troubles breathing and I've been to the doctors about it and they, they've given me like asthma pumps and they've given me um, anxiety tablets and they've given me all sorts of like different medications and nothing has ever worked. So I know a lot of people that, well, a handful of people that watch me have suffer very similar problems. And if anyone does actually know what the hell the issue might be, that would be awesome for you guys to let me know because I really don't know what the issue is. But that's basically why I sound out of breath, guys. Um, as as for a few little tips as well, guys, um, as this is play to win, usually at the start of a play to win video, I would put up some information, some help, trade, some help, some information, some ways to get better at FIFA or whatever. And there was none this episode because I started doing the D-pad tactics tutorial thinking that it would only be like a two or three minute clip at the start of this video. <laughs> and um, that that was a nice goal from storage there. I know it's like sweaty because he had it, but that overhead kick, yeah boy. Um, yeah, the start of the video, I uh, the the D-pad tutorial ended up being like 20 odd minutes long, which was a hell of a lot longer than I thought. Wait, that wasn't even words, Nepo. A hell of a lot longer than I thought. Um, there we go, getting that out there. And um, that was only the one half of the tactics because there's another half of the D-pad tactics to go through. Um, so if you want to check that video out, go and check it out. It is pretty um, just an informative video, guys. So if you know about the D-pad tactics or if you're not interested, it really won't be your kind of thing. Um, but yeah, so I just wanted to make you guys aware that that's why there's nothing at the start of this video because that's what I went with. As for the information that you guys gave me in terms of what you wanted to see for help with play to win, a lot of people wanted to see like um, the uh, free kick tutorial, um, things like that. I can't, I can't remember. My mind's gone. Uh, my mind's gone a little bit blank. But um, yeah, I'm working on a couple of other things to to get to get there and um, that that was pretty much it so let me have a quick, quick check how long we've got left on this video god damn this video is long as mofo I don't know how this is so long um, so yeah so my, in the play to win series guys um, I did say I would show the stats of the players after 50 games but uh, I forgot so sorry I'll show them at the start of the next video and the other thing I want to talk about was the subscriber showdown thing now, I the the whole purpose of the subscriber showdown was to play people with the play to win team and to see how well I can do against subscribers with that same team. But because I've got so many episodes left of this team, I've already sold this team on and like made my new account and made my new uh, my new team. 
So there will be no more subscriber showdown until this play to win series is finished. Uh, which it sucks a little bit, I guess. However, I'm still going to be playing against subscribers every now and then, probably every couple of days or so, um, on, and I'll still let you guys know about that through Twitter. But they won't be recorded and they won't be put in, into a video for Subscriber Showdown. It will just literally be me against you for a laugh, I guess. Um, but yeah, so primarily though, guys, uh, if you want to put in the comment section who you'd like to see me play, uh, I'm probably going to play some people like um, Theocrads and iTemp if he's up for it. Um, I'll play Oakalfish and uh, probably Bread as well because they're all COD guys, so that'd be pretty interesting. Uh, a few of you want to see me play Sam 5000 because he's uh, one of the best players in the in the community, um, in the FIFA community, without any shadow of a doubt. The only problem with that is, guys, and I know people see this just as a heavy excuse rather than anything else, but. Uh, I don't have an Xbox, so, um, well I do have an Xbox, but my team is shit on the Xbox, and I'm not as good on the Xbox as I am on a PS3. Anyway guys, this is the end of the video, um, so thank you all very much for watching, if you could hit that like button it would be absolutely amazing, and I'll see you next time. Cheers! I don't know why that Elliot goal was in there by the way, that's not supposed to be there, I apologise for that, it has nothing to do with Janusovic. Um, He's basically, he's very strong on the ball and like even if he gets knocked uh, and pushed and stuff, he can still finish the ball or um, make the right pass. And what I like about Janusovic is I don't use him or look to use him as a an, uh, like a clinical finisher like I did with, say, Henri or Thiago Neves. Um, Janusovic has got the finesse shot about him, which is awesome, but his build-up play, his approach play, his passing, things like that are awesome. And as you can see with his dribbling at 83, for a 78 rated card, it's absolutely insane, guys. Like He does really well on the ball. I think I score a couple of goals or have a couple of nice runs here where I use the skill dribble with him, which is holding L2 and R2 button. And you can maneuver through the defense real, real easily because of that agility and because of that balance and because of that dribbling. You can really like just drag your way through the defenders. And then once you let go of that um, L2 button and sprint out of the pace, sprint out of the skill dribble into the pace sorry he's only got 78 pace but that little burst usually gets him away from the defender and that's that was a hell of a lucky penalty there but i just thought i'd keep that in because it was a, a funny penalty but i've scored some real nice goals with Janusovic, and the fact that he's four star skills really does help you know four star skills in terms of a center attacking midfielder is ideal if you know obviously five star would be